Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com Today in this video we are going to talk about a new library called webdriver manager so let's get started and today in this video we'll talk about what exactly this webdriver manager class what is this new library so we'll talk about it in detail why it is required and how to use it so first of all uh, let me tell you one clear picture just search for webdriver manager first of all you will get one link now if you go to this link they have clearly mentioned what exactly this library does and why they have introduced now if you have worked on selenium then definitely you must be aware that in order to work with different browsers you need their respective drivers right so if you have to work with chrome you need chrome driver if you want to work with firefox you need gecko driver same goes with ie and other browsers so let me show you one small example then you will get to know why it is required so let me give this name as demo1 and i can go ahead with junit testng or with plain java program so just let me write one line of code and you will get to know why we need this okay so i am trying to start a chrome driver on this particular system and if i try to run this code it will definitely is going to to throw one error called driver not found right it says you need to set a property which is this and you need to download the drivers from this location now it is a pain for a automation engineer to download the drivers every time and set the path right so one way is you can either set in a specific location in windows you can set in an environment variable in mac you can also put in a specific location slash user bin from where it will take automatically but the pain point is you need to keep on updating the drivers manually even though you have downloaded the drivers you need to maintain it right and in case you don't want to keep in a specific location you have to give the path every time and you have to set the properties as well so in order to avoid this this class you can use which is called web driver manager and if you just go through this documentation they have clearly written why it is needed the main aim of using this is to manage the binaries or in simple terms we need to maintain the drivers so this is how we do right now we do system.set properties definitely these keys should be exactly same and we need to download the drivers but if you are working with this library you don't need to do this you can directly call one statement and this library will take care of everything okay let me show you how to do this first of all you need to copy this dependency and you need to add in your existing maven project so i would definitely recommend you to start with maven project because now as a standard you should continue with maven project so currently the project which i have we already have one dependency called selenium java dependency I have copy pasted one more dependencies so when you press ctrl s you will go to your maven dependency and you will see one jar called web driver manager and this jar is going to do a magic for you now you don't need to worry about the different drivers this binary or library will download all the drivers in a specific location and now with the one statement you can call them how to call them they have already written a statement how to call so they have a one class called web driver manager then there's static method called chrome driver and you need to just call the setup and for other browsers exactly the same thing you just need to change the browser name like firefox driver opera driver phantom js and so on and you can use the same so let's use for chrome now and then we'll see for firefox as well so you can see now this class is added this is coming from the library which we added so if you want to see in detail you can see this is a package which is io.github and a complete name okay so if you want to see from where it is coming just go to this jar which got added and this is the package okay inside this package you want to see this so just expand and you will find this class which is webdriver manager now just call this web driver manager dot and you will see the option for the different drivers which is chrome firefox opera ie and so on let me continue with chrome driver dot 
and you can see the list of the methods which they have given okay definitely they have multiple methods in order to set the proxies if you want to ignore certain versions you want to do some specific settings everything you can do here for the time being i'm going to start a session so i will call method call setup now what the setup will do it will download the latest version okay already we have the latest version and it will run okay so let me just run it and let me open any web application so that you can see some demo part so www let's say yahoo.com and then i will close the session so i will be using quit here but you can use close as well so let's see how it works just right click run as java application and you can see we have not given any path automatically it will take the path it will run the session and it will close it okay this is the uh, selenium property that until your web page is not loading properly it will keep on waiting and now if you see on console it says starting chrome driver this on this port number guys somehow i don't think this is correct but anyways we don't deal with the logs which is coming on the console ideally it should give me the chrome driver latest version which is we have around 2 dot something it is printing the browser version actually but we can ignore this because this logs are not useful for us now just to show you how it works for different browsers just remove this chrome and let's try with firefox firefox driver dot setup okay just right click run as job application and you will see it will start a gecko driver and you will be able to see the separate session okay so it says chrome driver dot system dot properties okay it means it haven't saved let me save this and run again and uh, even though we saved but we haven't changed this okay so even though we have set the path but still we were calling chrome driver so just change it to firefox and change save and run right click run as job application and you can see gecko driver starting and it will continue with the session again it downloaded the latest gecko driver and it started running it okay and once it is done you will get the output right now we are not printing anything so it will simply start and close it now one interesting point which i want to make here they have very good methods in case if you want to go in depth just read about the documentation they have given multiple options how to change the proxy and how to change the other configuration file but very frequently used thing is what if i don't want to use the latest version okay let's say your company has restricted that you cannot update the browsers manually and you still want to use the older drivers right so what you can do if you just come here uh, just let me show you So you can see this you can also set the versions you are telling this api which is web driver manager that go ahead and use only the specific version of a chrome driver or any other driver which you're using okay so what you need to do in spite of calling setup first call the version give the specific version and then call the setup method in order to set the proxy in order to set up the architect uh, specific version like 32 bit or 64 you can also pass the same but we don't go with the older driver versions right so this you might not use it but yes if you have certain requirement definitely go ahead with this now it's your task i will be giving you this link in the description but if you don't you don't need all this just type web driver manager you will get this link okay so hope you will uh, use this in your current project it's pretty easy i used for a couple of my projects i found it little uh, useful so i thought of sharing with you but if you don't want to use it 
you can continue with the old approach this is just to make it your code little easy okay that's all i have for this video so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section uh, or you can also send me an email on my email address which is mukesh at the learn hyphen admission.com and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay thank you so much guys have a nice day bye bye